Right, so it's confession time. Unfortunately, um, I have lost lots of video footage of me cutting the top parts to match the bottom parts. But here's some photos and we'll just take it from there. Okay, so I've just placed this on top uh, in position there and then marked around the side here as to where I need to uh, cut this back. And I've still got a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to have to um, do something with these corners because uh, this part is raised up. Normally it would drop down a bit to allow for this drop. But um, first things first, I'll just cut out this section so the HV connector fits in. That's the inverter casing modified and bolted down onto the motor. The motor's on its mounts. The battery pack is kind of in place. And uh, if I just take you down here. Right, I can't remember exactly what I was saying here, but it's along the lines of, we can just about fit the inverter under the battery box. It's there but it is going to be super tight but we knew that because it's a mini so uh, yeah it's all coming along nicely got to uh, do a few more bits of work on that um, but yeah nice job I think so now we have this part which is described as a HV filter um, so That's the inverter side up there. DC to DC side. A uh, yeah. high voltage sort of comes in and then it gets directed to where you want it to go. Uh, so really we want this connection and then it's gonna come down here to these two. That's all we need really. Uh, and got a clue what that does, so that's going. There's a few screws in here and then once the screws were taken out then that lifted out and then that was screwed onto that so two screws that's taken that off that can go on my box a bit that I don't know what to do with and now I'm gonna just uh, take this apart so that I can neatly cut this buzz bar uh, as I need it I'm just gonna prise this open Like that. There we go, and now we've got them separate. So now we can cut these and then get rid of what we don't want and keep what we do. Now we're gonna put all of the inverter parts back together, like that. Right, so as you can see, my desk is a mess, so I need to have a bit of a tidy up. And part of that tidying up is gonna be putting uh, the top section of the inverter back together with the uh, high, vo high voltage power cable. Okay, so whilst I was doing that, I thought I'd better just take a bit of time and uh, just measure where I've cut. And then if anyone else wants to copy me, uh, which might be a surprise, uh, then at least you've got an idea of what I've done and, uh, and the dimensions. Okay, so I'll just set you up and then we'll go through some measurements. So as you know, uh, I've taken all of the DC DC charging stuff, which was over here out. This is all the inverter stuff that's gone back in. Okay, so that's gonna stay there. And I made this casing smaller. So let's get the tape measure out and uh, we'll have a look, see what we've got measurement wise. So uh, main inverter housing, this cut here is at 308 mil. 
okay and then this one is 20 mil okay 20 mil 308 hopefully it's pretty much the same okay so that's that one right the lid itself so I made sure that I didn't cut in line with the original cut so there's a bit of an overlap so let's go with this one so this shorter one is let's say that's 71 mil and then the longer dimension is 259 259 all right so obviously give it a little bit of leeway because um you might want to go 260 but that's what I've got there all right so sitting under the lid is this piece okay I probably could have gone a little bit further with this one but if we measure from here straight across we got 75 75 but I could have gone maybe another five mil so I could have made that 80 and I think we would have still made, managed to fit it might have needed to work the corner a little bit to make it fit under the casing so this shiny bit under here which uh, the high voltage bars uh, bolt the uh, screw into I've just cut that along you can see just along so if you come off the edge of that round piece just along there all right just enough to clear everything obviously there was bus bars coming across all the way over here i'm going to have to see if i've got any video that i can't remember uh, i've had to take out these capacitors along here a um, bit of a split opinion on the forum as to whether that's a good you know whether i can do that or not but um i'm hoping that it won't be a problem okay okay just putting this all back together and it's not quite fitting in properly uh, so it's catching here so I need to take some more off of this edge here just round these corners off a bit and then a little bit yeah, might be all right. well, I'll take a little bit off there as well anyway okay so let's go and do that so then we've had to uh, obviously open this out here uh, where are you there so it all fits and that is one one five two there to there okay uh, fits in there nicely now let's get that all screwed up So there we are, there's the inverter uh, all kind of together temporarily, got to strip it back down obviously to make all the bits work, but in terms of the physical size of it, that's all done now and that will fit nicely into the Mini. So let's just take an overall measurement for anyone out there that wants to do this. So uh, you're looking at 13 inches, just over. So. 333 maybe mil and then that's not changed that way so that's uh, about uh, 305 mil in terms of the actual case itself so uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll drag the motor out of the car I'll get the motor set up down here I can get the inverter bolted onto the motor and I can um, start fiddling around with it <laughs> 